Hi, Serious Bruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 90. And yes, we are reincarnating for the 60th time, which means I will unlock lineages, whatever that is. I'm guessing it's taking forever because it's gonna load a tutorial pop. Yep, exactly. You have unlocked the lineages. They will be available to purchase as soon as you pick up Bloodline and reach 400 Royal Exchange of the faction that matches your bloodline. Okay, well that means I do need to, you know, um, grind a little bit. Like, I don't need to get all the way up, but just like, up to, like, around D50 gems. Um, and that's it. And then there's this lineage, free. You can only have one lineage, and it will persist until you abdicate. Requires 400 royal exchange and the bloodline of specific faction. Your lineage cannot match any of your chosen factions, and oh, I can see the I can see these. Well, actually, before I you know touch any of these, I'm, I probably want to you know grind up to four in a royal exchanges first. So I'll do that. Okay, so I've grinded to about e fifty gems, and so you can see I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna do a normal run as if this was you know completely normal, and I wasn't you know using like this whole entirely new mechanic for the first time here so let's see we can you know we can, we can go into a regular build here just give, grab this act, start activating our spells um join the dragon faction so i can you know get the rest of my researches and buy all the buildings i would ever need here and activate dragon's breath and then just get all these upgrades and then what i can do if i want Quick and easy faction coins. You just get more excavations. Now I have E19 of, of all of them. I can just buy all and I now have 400 of every royal exchange. So now we are going to use this. So, um, wait. I thought I, I was the opposite. It says can't match any of your chosen factions, but it requires the bloodline. Interesting. So I guess I can look at these now. So... Um, farms, inns, and blacksmiths count 18% more for every level. That is almost entirely useless. Um, no point in getting that. Auto clicks one time per second every level. That could be good. Um, wait, there's levels. Oh. Okay, then. Um, I, d I didn't realize that. And then increase clicks count by 5,000% for every level. I, that seems pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to get that. Multiple can be increased mana regen 7% every level. Okay. Increase tax collection more than seconds by 25 for every level. Increase assistance by 1% for every level. Increase non unique building production based on lineage level. More such penalties are removed as time passes in the reincarnation. Okay, then, but it's almost entirely useless again. Increase royal exchange bonus and royal exchange count. By 200% per level. That can be OP. We'll, we'll skip over this for now. Increase the duration of all spells based on lineage level. Um, increase the base production of each building each tier is multiplied by the lineage level. Increase offline production. Nope, I don't like that. But it's, it does not suffer from ascension penalties. And then there's unique buildings count 12% more every level. So what is this? Each lineage level counts as two additional reincarnations. So for the reincarnation power, I see. So... This honestly isn't the strongest boost, but it's there. And, oh, I can level it, oh, I can level it up, like, more than a few times. I thought I could get one level of it, that's it. Nope, I unlock a whole new perk for the lineage at level 5. What is this? It also increases the production of non-unique buildings? Ew, that's useless. What the heck? <laughs> that, that is a useless little upgrade there. Keep, keep getting the stuff. Okay, another perk. Um, I don't see the upgrade. Is it, Wait, it's probably in here. Um, also, each time you collect faction coins, you get 100 times more of, of the faction of your lineage. This is split equally for all factions, these different types of faction coins. Also, there's an artifact. And it looks like I have a pretty good chance of getting that. That's 0.55%. Yeah, wow, that was easy. Um, okay then, but what does this do? 
It's an upgrade. Oh, it's an actual upgrade. Reduce the cost for upgrading lineages, except your highest one, by 10% of its order of magnitude. Okay. I'm not exactly sure this is good. You can see the reincarnation power is much, much better. Not exactly sure how much better that. It seems better, like, the guide kind of seems like, oh, go faceless lineage, but isn't that... What is that? Like, offline or maybe assistance by 1% per level? Yeah, that's not that much. Um, I mean, also, this, these do reset on abdication. That is something I should probably be aware of. I guess if I wanted, I could just keep excavating if I want more faction coins. Like, you know, want to get more Dragon's Breath. So you can see here, well, uh, not quite, actually. I'm... I want to want a missing. Oh, I'm missing the diamond coins. That's what it is. Um, well, I can get another lineage level. So, oh, another perk. And this is um, condition. What condition to unlock level 15 perk? Have mana regen. At least double your max mana. Oh. Not one. So there's conditions you need to unlock them. I guess I can just use my mana regen build. I mean, also, I'll just, I'll just get these researches just to see it. there's nothing. Nothing interesting there. I guess what I can do is I can abdicate and try to go for this perk. Like, why not? I don't really see a reason not to. Um, also, we can just see, you can buy Royal Exchanges just to see, yeah, 500 Royal Exchanges. Anyway, we will abdicate here. We'll go, you know, the same thing. Can we, like... Oh, we still we okay, we need to get four in a royal exchanges first. So this is you know not another thing in each run. Skill titans as normal. Um, maybe you actually go a different faction at this point instead of faceless. Um, but instead of doing this, we'll load our mana regen build and dragon mana regen. Just get this, and then hopefully we can you know do this. Uh, not yet. We need more faction coins. Of course, um, we can excavate if we want. Also, we have the handy little reset excavations now. So, just get the rest of these, whatever these are, and excavate for faction coins. I guess just go, you know, um, druid lineage. There's the perks here. It's this one is just not good. Um, let's see. This is it's actually not giving me as much mana regen as I might have expected. It's not, it's more, it's more mana regen than, than before, but it's not double the max mana. Maybe I could do something here, like what if I, what if there's something that increases max mana that I'm doing that is just not helping me with this? Like, I'm not even sure. There's, there could, there probably is something here. Yeah, just don't get this. Don't get D290. Um, is there any way I, I can like save this and um, oh, I don't want to, you know, I'll just no, save export. I'm not going to give it a name because it's just going to be this one time thing just for this perk. So, yeah, normal run. So now we go to research. We're just going to paste it here, but then. Um, we are going to drop D290 from the list of researches. So, gone, and then just copy this and import. And this should give me the mana regen without giving me all the max mana. Um, I think, I, I hope, I hope I'm doing this right. D290 it is max mana. I mean, I know with the Druid Bloodline, you know, how OP that is. I probably need a blue dragon's breath effect. Yeah, this is still not enough though. It's, it's kind of surprising. I I would have I really would have thought this would do it. Maybe there's something here that just does mana regen without you know doing um, max mana, but I don't I don't see anything like this. I mean, maybe maybe there's something here. This is max mana, so I want to avoid that. Nope, this is all I can do. I'm not even close to being double my mana regen here, even with, you know, a blue 
Dragon's Breath effect, and without a blue Dragon's Breath effect, it's even weaker. Like, I, I mean, yes, maybe I can, you know, get this. It's still 15, but yikes. I didn't really expect it to be that. Maybe if I buy buildings, I can increase my mana regen a little more, but it's not going to be enough here. Like, this would be 185,000. So maybe I, I need to abdicate again and make a special build that does not, you know, focus on mana or max mana at all. Like, not even getting, like, S500. All we need is just mana regen is double your max mana. It isn't really anything else. So, you can see, S500 does increase my max mana, so I need to, you know, ditch it. I need to then go for researches like that, like this one. Just increase mana regen based on the amount of research made. And and just you keep getting other stuff like this. And of course, we also want faction coins, so stuff like this. Okay, I got all the researches here um, that get mana regen and avoid all max mana. And here this is. Uh, if you wanted to see it, you can pause the video real quick. Okay, anyway, we're going to go here, buy everything, and yeah, this doesn't look good. Because even with, you know, Dragon's Breath, this is not going to do what we want. I, I'm actually really... This is, this is like the same as that thing in like episode like 36 or something where I... It, it was the exact same thing I'm trying to do. I, I think it was just there. I wanted it to exceed my max mana. Not double the max mana. <laughs> that That's the problem here. Like, I don't know how... I'm, Maybe I don't need to be the druid, or maybe actually instead I don't have to be the dragon. That's what I'm gonna try. Because if if that won't do it, what about this? What about going angels and still going druid line, and then and then just you know druid perk two? Is I'm guessing is that just it? Yeah, I, that has to be it. Like why not? I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna load um. Just, you know, the usual build here, just to see what it'll do. I mean, or just just, uh, just enough to, you know, excavate to... Oh, uh, okay, well, maybe I need to do this and instead and try to get 400 Royal Exchanges that way. Okay, maybe this is not exactly the best strategy. Actually, maybe, yeah, I should, I should just abdicate and become, you know... Titans again. Okay, here we go. Perk 1 is this. Perk 2 is gain the Druid faction spell adjusted for your alignment if necessary. So it's Grand Balance. That's like one of the weakest spells in the entire game. Um, because, well... I'm not even like of course we can tear it up but even if we tear it up it's right now supposed to be supposed to be unbalanced so unless I can I make enough mana to have it affect all 11 buildings which is about I think it's about e11 mana to do that it is effectively useless which is yeah that's quite bad like I would have thought it would be at least a little good but no it's it's completely I mean, maybe there's something here. I don't know. Maybe I should just go a different faction from the plot. Maybe I should go faceless. I don't know. I mean, you know, I could just excavate a whole bunch. Let's say I max my excavations. Does this get me anything? It gets me, well, this and this. Um, and I completed the challenge somehow. I didn't even read the challenge. What even was this? You affiliated with many magical races in the past, but none as potent as the dragons, whose very breath is among the strongest of the forces. There is some way for your wizards to exploit this. And it says reincarnation 60, dragon unique building purchase. That's just worms then. Completion of other challenges. And it says have at least five spells active at tier five. That's it. And there's a new artifact. And oh my god. <laughs> this chance is what? How am I supposed to get that? And I can get one more lineage level, and I guess that's it. I mean, now we, yeah, we do have all the. What what even is this gonna do? Five additional casts. 
I don't, I don't know what this is even gonna do. Dragon tier level, Dragon's Breath level six seems kind of useless. Um, I mean, yes, I can get buildings and all that. I can get over nine thousand of every single building. Actually, if I get ten thousand, I can probably get a whole bunch of trophies. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I mean, what I what I can do? I can excavate. I know I won't get this, but you know what? We can reset excavations. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for that. And it's, and I think all it says just go as it goes up. I think that's at like five thousand. Yeah, we just reset our excavations. We abdicate and just do another run. Boom. We could probably we could probably do this like three times in a reincarnation now. Um, maybe more if we use E two ninety. Um, yeah. That, I'm actually, I may be using E two ninety. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're just we're just gonna do an another run. Maybe I mean, judging on the gems I'm gonna, I have, it's at least what I have is enough to carry me through another couple reincarnations. So at least that's something. And um, yeah, just get I'll get this. Um, oh yeah, I just need the faction coins. Need dragon's breath. Um, just get this going. I need to buy all, and then I can get it going. And just get everything grand balance, <laughs> and um, maybe maybe I need to like grind all the perks, kind of like how I needed to grind all the heritage upgrades, um, like early on. And I could just you know, I kind of don't want to max excavate. I want to like excavate enough so I can unlock, you know, this, the take five deep breaths thing. But I guess I'll just excavate a bunch of times. By this, is this enough to unlock? No. I don't even know where that take five deep breaths thing comes from. Oh, I probably need to get this to tier five. That's my guess. That's just a not, not quite. Okay, that's probably enough. Yeah, and now, no? Oh, well, here we go. Um, and then I can just max excavations. And oh yeah, I, I don't I don't be I don't expect to get this anytime soon, but at least it's there. And ten thousand Olympian halls, that didn't even give me a trophy. Maybe if I do ten thousand of some of the other buildings, that give me no oh, the trophies are at twelve thousand, I forgot. That's so unintuitive. I would think, oh, ten thousand is the trophy. No, it's twelve thousand for some reason. I do get an upgrade at ten thousand though. That's pretty cool even though it's useless <laughs> um it's like the first upgrade since 4,000 <laughs> of every building and 80% in this is just not a lot so I guess I mean I can reincarnate I I mean like I don't even have any like lucky lightning strike going like, I know if I get a lucky lightning strike, you know how overpowered that would be? That would allow me to go from, like, E61 to E64 to E65 gems. Oh, yeah, I don't even have that upgrade yet. <laughs> but, yeah, when's the next challenge unlock? 63. I guess I could just look at it real quick. Um, the backwater world has been conquered. Also, what's the reward of this? Tax solutions are 20% more powerful for every spell. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, the Dragon's Wars have tried for greater riches, fall the Dragon King, soar through the heavens, and claim the energy of the cosmos. Any dragon, reincarnation 63, completion of the last challenge, 12,000 research points in all facilities. That will happen by that reincarnation. Don't have it yet, but it will happen. And then, uh, at least that amount of faction coins, that's easy. 1E141 diamond coins... I don't have that yet, but I think just a few orders of magnitude of gems will do it. 90,000 buildings. I think I have that already. Two E10 mana produced. Ouch. That's going to take a while. 7,500 excavation. Okay, I just need E290. 6,000 assistance. Ooh. <laughs> 300,000 max mana and 175,000 mana regen. Yeah, we're not quite there yet, unfortunately. And this is still 0.000025%. I need to actually calculate what that means. Like 0.25 is 1 in 400. So that is 1 in 400, 1 in, 
one in four thousand, one in forty thousand, one in four million. It's one in forty million. That's the chance of me getting this artifact from an excavation. Even with, even with you know abusing the reset excavations, since we can just do this, um, like even though I can probably, I mean I think I can actually do it, maybe even four times in a reincarnation, to get thirty thousand excavations. That feels like a lot, but when the chance is one in, wait no I don't think it's forty million. I think it's just four million. That's still a ridiculously low chance. <laughs> Like, think about that. If you take a view at random of my YouTube channel right now, it's right now at about 650,000. With that kind of chance, like each view is one excavation, that is still probably, there's still a very low chance of me actually getting <laughs> the artifact that way. Or yeah, if you just take a random view of my YouTube channel, from my YouTube channel, and um, you still, like, and you have to, like, guess the correct view, like, not just the correct person, like, the correct person, the correct video, the correct, you know, if you just had, like, all the metadata available, if you had, if you had to guess one of them, you would have a higher chance of doing that than this artifact. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I have to think of other ways to, to say how ridiculous a one in four million chance is we also got another tier for spiritual surge so um yeah that's pretty cool um i mean that's enough to get me even more gems like i can definitely get to at least reincarnation 62 if not 63 um just from this little lineage thing so and is there anything new here nope so that's what I'm going to probably do between this episode and next episode. There's probably not much actually interesting happening. I mean, I could, you know, try to grind some of the other lineages. But right now I don't really need to. Maybe I'll do it at a later reincarnation when it's a little more urgent. I don't even know what to do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.